Okay, so in our project, uh, the first thing that you want to do when you're starting kind of any project uh, is to create your levels on there. So the levels are created usually in an elevation uh, or a section view. And for our project, um, on the handout here on page three, it gives us the name of the elevation uh, of the level and, um, and its height. All right, so we've got a total of one, two, three, four, five levels. All right, and let me just kind of move this over here to the side. Let me go to our project file. Okay, so to create a level, I'm going to go to uh, an elevation view. And it really doesn't matter which elevation view you go to. So I'm going to go here to our south elevation. All right, and by default in our architectural template here, it creates two levels automatically, right? level one and level two. So what we're going to do is rename level one and level two and give it a new elevation. But before we do that, I want to create the remaining three levels that we're going to need. So to do that, to create three new levels here, uh, I'm going to go to my level command. Now the level command here is located on the architectural tab, and it's to the right about eh, three quarters of the way over. So I'm going to level command, so I click on that. All right, so then the, my ribbon changes here, and I've got either a line I can draw or a pick lines uh, command. The way I like to do it, I, use, I usually use the pick lines command in combination with an offset. So the offset here on the options bar and the pick lines here under the draw tab here. So, okay. Uh, and I'm just going to set these first ones just 10 feet apart, just generically. All right, so I'm going to say offset, 10 feet, pick lines, and then I hold my cursor over the top uh, level, and you can see that blue dash line there. That shows me basically where that, um, that new level is going to show up. All right, if I roll my cursor down, can you see, I don't know if you can see it on level one there. So if I roll my cursor down low, it comes, you know, it'll offset to the bottom. If I roll my cursor up, it offsets to the top. So I'm going to create three new ones. So I'm going to click there, there, and there. So I've got level five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So let me show you a couple um, uh, ish common common problems that I've seen, common uh, mistakes I've seen on these. Um, one of the th mistakes is to continue to hit the same level. Um, so what I did was to create those three levels. Is I went to the top level and I did an offset. Right, so there you can see it's offsetting. Now if I were to stay on level four and I roll my cursor up, you can see that the blue dash line is over level five. And I've had some students um, just continue to click level five. And you see how it's going to level seven, level eight, level nine. All right, so that's, that's kind of a common mistake is accidentally creating several levels on top of each other. And then uh, you know, they'll say, well, I don't see any new layers being created. It's because they're creating level, levels on top, of e uh, on top of it. So watch out for that one. Let me go back down to create five. Okay, there's level five. Um, you'll notice too, when you create a new level, let me get rid of five real quick. And go to the level command, pick lines, offset for 10 feet. You'll notice over here that I've got levels one, two, three, four. Uh, every time you create a new level, it creates a new floor plan for you. So I'm gonna create another level here. So I go click there and I created level six because uh, I deleted level five. And so it does, uh, um, so it created a new floor plan under floor plans, and it created a new ceiling plan for level six. All right, so now each of these levels then has a, uh, a new floor plan. Um, and then just the other way of doing this, the other way of creating a level is using the uh, draw command. So I'm going to use the draw command. I'm going to set my offset to zero feet. All right. And you notice when I use the draw command, it gives me a little dimension here. So what it's telling me here is that... Uh, my new level here is going to be at 12 feet. So I click on that, and there's level 7. All right, so that's another way of doing it, is, is using the draw command. All right, so let me delete that one. Now, the, uh, there's a third way of doing it, and that's using the copy command. So I can pick level 6, and I can go to copy, and I can make a copy and just move it up. Now, notice when I create the copy, when I do it using the copy mode, um, or the copy method, it doesn't create a new floor plan for me. So when you copy it, it doesn't create a new floor plan. There'll be certain instances where you don't want to create a new floor plan for a level. For example, if you're doing a house and you've got a uh, double top plate, you've got your top plate for the top of the wall, you don't need a floor plan for your top plate. You just need a level there, but you don't necessarily need a new floor plan for the level. So that's kind of where you'd, that's where you'd want to um, use maybe the copy command to create a level. All right, so I've got my five levels here. And so the next thing I need to do 
is, let me go back to our handout or project assignment here, is I'm going to rename them and I'm going to give them a new elevation. All right, so renaming them and giving them a new elevation is really easy. All right, so let's start at the bottom. All right, the bottom one is going to be called 00, zero foundation and it's at negative 30 feet. All right, so to change uh, the elevation and to change the name of it, I just double click on the text um, over here. All right, so level one, we're going to change that to 00, zero foundation. So I just click on level one. Or double click actually and let's call this one zero zero foundation and remember to um, remember all caps on this so on this project uh, everything should be capitalized your drawing uh, your levels your um, titles of drawings all that kind of stuff will be all caps all right so just make sure you do that so zero zero foundation and then uh, once you do that you'll get this little message that says, would you like to rename corresponding views? The answer is always yes to that. So what that means is then, this used to be level one, so notice it was level one, and I say yes, and it changes the name of the uh, floor plan to zero, zero foundation. So that's basically all that, that message is telling you. All right, so that's zero, zero foundation. All right, this one's going to be 01 uh, parking and service level. service level, rename corresponding views, yes. Um, all right, and I, actually, let me, I forgot to uh, change the elevation. So here's my foundation view. It's at zero, zero right now. It needs to be at negative 30. So changing the uh, elevation is just like changing the text. So I click on the zero, zero here, or double click, and I change that to negative 30 feet. And notice my foundation, then my uh, level then drops down. O1 parking and service level becomes negative uh, 12 feet. All right, and then this one here, level three, then it's going to become entry level. Oops, sorry, O2. And its height is zero. Okay, and then level four becomes O3 second level. And that's 12 feet. And then the last one is O4 roof level. here for our project. Here's our foundation, a one parking level. And here's what we got on our project. So that's good. All right, so that's basically the, um, the gist of creating new levels.